double up. Oh, wow, yeah, I can see. Guys, this is the, this dock has more stuff going on than I've ever seen. I've fished a lot of lakes and I don't think I've seen a dock with this many things hanging off of it. We got rods from 1927. We got a paint ladder, we got a wooden ladder over here. We've got minnow buckets, we've got tomato vines, uh, obviously big brush piles. This is the kind of dock where Nadine could live, but you may not catch her. You may not be able to get her in. You may not be able to get her out, that's right. She's probably in there. I'm liking that little bitty cypress tree right there, though. That is a Christmas tree. Storage. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. That, that's not Nadine, but that's one of her younger cousins. And, uh, golly, you just got to love a good that jig is, bite. That is a great jig bite. Ooh, yeah. Got her out. That was awesome, Got guys. That was impressive. Got her out. That's why you use heavy gear when you're fishing around these docks. You never want to pass up a dock that looks like this. Don't be intimidated by it. Go right in the middle of it. Just get in there. If you break off, oh well. But you're going to catch some good fish off of it. That's right. They're living there. Nice one. Got to smell you. We're gonna let it go. Thanks for the fight. Go get bigger. Woo! Yeah. Love it, baby. Without even deflecting off a piece of cover, it does that in an open water situation. Those are the ones that really, really catch fish and you'll dive down in the water to go after them to get them back. A lot of the ones you get in the package, um, don't have that erratic movement. And one of the keys that I look for on a, on a good 